Okay, well, hello people. Uh, it's Kyle. This is going to be a Laser Predators video named uh, Predator Lasers Ultimate um, Tutorial. Yeah. Sorry, I tried to get this uh, just uh, <laughs> early enough for you guys to have a little bit of time to be able to make it for, what is it, uh, Halloween. Sorry. Because today's like, what, October 20th? Anyways. Okay, so there was two people named uh, Chad O'Lal. And I don't know if they want me to. I'll put their links in the description. Um, let me see. Chad O'Lal. Chad O'Lal. And also... Do, 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 do. Peagle 2000. Alright, they both uh, emailed me recently, and I love it when somebody emails me because it makes me feel like somebody cares. <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> so this is going to be the uh, Predator Lasers uh, tutorial that is going to be the ultimate one. We're going to be using a 5 volt regulator, uh, two resistors, and, um, well, I have one laser right here but you'll be able to use more lasers anyways all right so here's the setup we have a, a 5 volt regulator that is 7805 which 7805 means it's a 5 volt regulator all right notice it has three pins and i've made this uh schematic here diagram but i'm going to wire it up for you guys completely so you'll be able to see exactly uh what i'm talking about and how it works okay you're going to need to go to radio shack and buy 68 ohm resistors and 15 ohm resistors there you go. Each package comes along with uh, five. I've already taken two off just to test. Uh, each one of these is dollar nineteen each. So there's what is it? Dollar uh, twenty? Yeah, two forty. Uh, this thing's about dollar uh, sixty. So uh, two forty. There's four bucks. Uh, this thing cost uh, three dollars. So for seven dollars. And uh, if you want to do the Predator laser thing, you're going to need three of these. So that's going to be $9 for all of these. Add on to, uh, shit, I don't know, I already forgot. But anyways, yeah, you're going to need some solder, you know, a little bit of wire, soldering iron, of course. And I have my helping hands and uh, my, <laughs> my cyberized uh, stripper cutter tool and uh, also this okay now where am I thin? there it is okay here I want to turn on the visible light for you um, you're going to need to go watch my two uh, other videos um, what was it it was um oh wait hold on I can't be playing music. Damn. That's lame that I always have to do these videos quietly or in the whatever, no music. Anyways, um, go watch uh, my Predator uh, Assembly Easy Lasers uh, Part 1 and Part 2 and only watch up till I think it was like 6 minutes and 30 seconds in Part 2. And then all that other crap about voltage and the resistors. Don't don't even pay attention to that, any of that. But uh, number one and number two uh, show you how to tear these uh, pointers apart and how to solder them. Okay, now this is the positive side right here. And um, okay, <clears throat> here we go. This is the positive side that we're going to be soldering to in a minute. 
and this is the negative side and there's a little resistor in the middle and we need to leave that resistor in there it, it helps out a lot and plus the way I've calculated this this 15 ohms and this 68 ohms and this little resistor all of it makes it so that we can run off of a 5 volt regulator so that's exactly how I have it planned but uh, if you're unlucky you may end up running into um, some company that makes their laser pointers that uses a different uh, different resistor or but I would expect that this being something that's made in China is probably pretty uh, uh, what's it called standard across the planet okay all right so uh, this takes 3.4 volts and we need this to these to soak up and that little resistor to soak up the other uh, 3.4 uh, 1.6 volts from the 5 volts alright I'm going to uh, scrape this piece off right here so it's nice and clean and then I'll scrape geez okay yeah maybe you can see it a little better there I'm going to scrape this piece off so it's nice and clean scrape that piece off so it's nice and clean and then I'm going to cut off the last half of this board so uh, I'll be back in a second well actually geez, I'll just show you the first thing I'm going to do uh, okay which resistor is this what's that uh, let's blue and gray what's that I think blue is 6 and gray is 8 yeah that's the 68 ohm resistor and uh... uh geez, I'll show you that in a second and this is the brown and green so this is a uh, I think 15 ohms yeah the 15 ohm resistor brown green and black so it's the 15 ohm resistor uh, I'll show you something. Okay. Oops. Yeah, I'm this off. I am going to. I've taken my uh, resistors and I've uh, bent them and cut them. Right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tin the tips to make sure that uh, there's a little bit of solder on there and that that solder has a little bit of uh, what's that stuff? The resin the rosin from the solder on there to help things uh, solder up easily having a little bit of solder on that is also nice because uh, when it melts it helps bond back in a second okay and now I have my uh, little laser module ready uh, where did my knife go? There it is. Okay, and um, I've scratched up this side so I can solder my once one resistor here, and I've scratched up this side because it's really big and fat out there, and it'll be less of a chance of me uh, messing it up, um, eating up the pad too much. Okay, so I'm going to solder it to there and there. But uh, yeah, first I'm going to, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, I'm going to tin it. I'm going to tin this piece right here and tin that piece right there, just like I did with my resistors. Back in a second. Alright. I know this is probably pretty bright too it looks pretty bright on the uh, camera screen now I'm going to uh, tin my pieces all right and put that on there make sure I get some of that flux on there so the solder moves around nicely all right looks good I don't know maybe I can just do it right now with this glob that I have and now I'm starting my other piece. Yeah, it solders up nice. All right, well, I can just probably go ahead and just put my freaking resistors on there right now. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, now I'm gonna hold it. Uh, whatever. Hopefully that'll work. 
You can see that. I can see it. Okay, we can all see it. So I'm going to put this resistor over here on this side. And the reason why I tin it, tin both of the resistor and this, is because it makes it so that I can just solder it straight on. Instead of having to, you know, have the resistor being held by something and this being held by something and then have my solder, my solder in there, you know, when the tips are already tinned nicely and brand new, then uh, it'll solder quickly and easily. Alright, and now I'm going to solder the other piece. Yeah, I was gonna, yeah, put it in there like that. Uh, I don't know, I want to put a little bit more solder on there just because I'm OCD. I like these new 21st century words. Or is it the 22nd century or whatever, I don't care. It's freaking 2011. Okay, so we have our uh, module all nice and soldered up. Oh, and uh, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, make damn well sure to put your tape on there, like I said before in my other two videos, you know, just to try to keep the LED laser lens as clean as possible, because right, right through that hole up there and down there is the uh, laser um, lens. Actually, yeah, see, you can see the blue, you can see the blue tape back there, right behind the lens. So, and uh, they keep it open like this so that uh, a little bit of air will possibly flow through there and cool it off if it's going to be on for a long time. All right, I'll be back in a minute. Okay. You can see in the background I have my voltage and my amperage. <laughs> Whatever, probably okay. All right. I'm going to turn on my uh, variable power supply and bring it up to 5 volts exactly because that's what this thing is going to do for us in a minute. <laughs> 